So this is a little quick update. Um, I had this thing open and filling this pumping tower overnight. Um, I kind of quit earlier yesterday. Uh, this is still the same tank um, that all the other videos were on. Uh, <clears throat> so I mean, what else, what else is there to say about that? Um, that's how slow it's been with that uh, sock filter strainer in there. Um, and now, you know, we have the decreased flow through there. But I had this thing sitting overnight, and I imagine it is equalized right now. So the level in the tower is probably right here. I did move the tower down um, approximately two inches to get a little bit more um, gravitational head in into the, the tank. So I got a little bit greater flow, but the sock uh, strainer is still on there. Um... And yesterday, when I quit trying to fill my, my tank, like, one gallon at a time, it was probably in this region, in here, about there. I should have marked it, but I didn't. I didn't, and I failed you guys there, so I'm sorry. So sorry. Uh, you know, leave it in the comments below how horrible of a person I am. But it's probably right there, and you can see that's... Uh, a good probably three three and a half inches and you know this whole pumping tower again I, I calculated out how much it holds it should be about five gallons in it if it's where that line is that's about three-fifths which means there are three gallons inside of there so that makes sense that's probably where it was about three inches up from here right there um, when I finished yesterday and then left it uh, so that will give you you know if you can understand how this thing is working it will give you a little bit better of an idea of how this works that's pretty close to the sock filter I'm probably gonna wheel this out um, pump what's in the in the tower into the truck and then see if I can get to the sock filter to remove it and then uh, you know see how fast even this will flow out this is a it's going to be pretty much the worst case scenario, like, give me an idea of what the flow rate is going to be without the the sock filter on there into the pumping tower. It's going to give me the worst case scenario with the lowest um, gravitational pumping head into the tower. And it's only going to fill up probably not much at all, maybe two gallons. I might get it level up to here inside of this tower. Because, again, it's just gravity that's putting it in there, and it's going to just equalize. That's the minimum that I can expect. Unless I were to put, like, a... And I might get a vacuum pump at, like, Harbor Freight or something to uh, draw the air out of this chamber, and then it will pull all the fluid out of there until I just get air. Um, I might do that for now. This works. Again, this is... I'm trying to go minimalist on this and still have it work. Um, so that might be all that I can get again is up to this nozzle where it goes in, but that's fine. Um, I'm at, still at an experimentation phase, you know, and I probably will be forever trying to make it better. <clears throat> so I think that's all I have to talk about on this one. Again, you know, this is fill up to this line. Most likely I'm going to pump it down, remove that sock filter and then test to see how fast this little bit goes back into there. Um, if I if it goes down and settles out in, you know, like 10 seconds or whatever, I'll know that the sock filter is too much for that to go through. And I might put in like a strainer, um, make a custom, another custom PVC creation. Um, I'm thinking about doing that anyways, at least on this outlet here that's under pressure. Um, and I'll, I'll probably put like a steel wool Brillo pad in there like I have in the bottom of this, uh, the wood filter. Um, you know, in there I'm using it to hold the wood back, but it will still give the oil a treacherous path to flow through and a lot of sediment will drop out. And then I put a little valve on the bottom of it so that I can drain it out. You know, if I notice through the clear tubing that some stuff is still going beyond it and not, and not trapping it. But it will, you know, it's one more... One more step, I hit, on this end of it, on the pressurized side, it's a much better deal because I can ramp up the pressure if I want to, and it's definitely going to get through. And, uh, you know, I can use uh, smaller 
smaller piping, which definitely significantly decreases the cost of building PVC creations um, and inventions. Um, so that will that will be pretty cheap. That'll probably cost me about twenty dollars to make that thing. I might do that and put it in there, um, and I might make another one because flowing through the Brillo uh, steel steel pad scrubbing scouring pad is going to be uh, fairly easy for the the fluid to flow through vice the um, you know the sock. So I might do that. What I'm going to do today is pump this down into the truck. Because I'm so close right there. I'm not just going to drain it. I'm really close. I'm going to pump that in the truck, remove the sock filter, and then retest the flow and see if I get anything higher. If, if you know, that makes a significant difference, um, I'm going to go without it and probably put something else in there that, you know, isn't as bad. And, and also moving it down, you know, that's a good probably a foot and a half to two feet of pump head between, you know, putting the... The sock in there and down there, there's definitely going to be more pressure behind the filter down here than there is going to be up here. So there's some some thought for your unit that you guys are going to be building. Um, hopefully you are building them. Uh, use this as as part of your research. This is valuable research. Um, I may again, I'm a nuclear operator for the Navy. I know a decent bit about these. Uh, my specific rate is electrician's mate, but I still have to learn all the the piping systems and the flow. I have to go to school for two years just to learn this kind of stuff. So it's pretty knowledgeable. Count it, count it as a, you know, reference material for what you're doing. Um, there's definitely scientific thought put into how this whole thing works. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I'm trying to keep this short. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day and spread the knowledge.